Welcome to a lesson on the standard normal distribution. To begin a z-score, also called a standard score, is the number of standard deviations a data value is from the mean of the distribution. And we calculate the z-score by determining the difference of the data value in the mean and then divide by the standard deviation. We can plot z-scores on a special normal distribution called the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is a normal distribution that always has a population mean of zero and a population standard deviation of one. So if we label the normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, we have what's called the standard normal distribution. So the mean is zero, and because the standard deviation is one, to the right of zero we have one, two, three standard deviations, which are also z-scores. To the left of zero we have negative one, negative two, and negative three, standard deviations, which again are also z-scores. So if we label the normal distribution with z-scores, we have what's called the standard normal distribution. And if we apply the empirical rule to the standard normal distribution, we can replace standard deviations with z-scores and say approximately 68% of the data falls, plus or minus one z-scores from the mean. Approximately 95% of the data falls plus or minus two z-scores from the mean, and approximately 99.7% of the data falls plus or minus three z-scores from the mean. Let's look at an example. Scores on a standardized test were normally distributed with a mean of 550 and a standard deviation of 80. So we know mu, or the mean, is equal to 550, and the population standard deviation, or sigma, is equal to 80. For part A, a student scores 500 points on the test, what is the z-score or standard score? Because the test score is 500 points, we also know x is equal to 500. And now we can use the formula above to calculate the z-score. The z-score is equal to x minus mu, which is 500 minus 550. And this difference is divided by the standard deviation, which is 80 which is equal to negative 50 divided by 80, which is negative 5 eighths, or as a decimal, negative 0 0.625. Notice how this z-score is located approximately here on the standard normal distribution. For part b, what score corresponds to a z-score or standard score of 1.2? Notice a z-score of 1.2 is approximately here on the standard normal distribution. So a z-score of 1.2 indicates the test score is 1.2 standard deviations above the mean of 550, which means x, the z-score, is equal to the mean of 550, and then plus the z-score of 1.2 times the standard deviation of 80, which is equal to 550 plus 96, which is equal to 646, and the units would be points. I hope you found this helpful.